how to prepare a show. What an idea. <laughs> <laughs> and we're live this uh, afternoon, uh, early in Canada, late afternoon in the United Kingdom. And my friend Stephen Healy joining me as always. How are you doing, Stephen? I'm doing well, David. And yourself? I'm fantastic. As I was All mentioning right. before I hit the go button, I'm a little, I was a little tangled. It's been a bit of a tangled day. There's lots of renovations happening in the house and I'm just going to hide here in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just making yourself scarce. Yeah. You know, I said, Jennifer, I love you. I said, you know, I have two shows today, right? She goes, yep. I said, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's better that way. Uh, yeah, yeah. So if we hear any banging or whatever above or behind them, okay. that's part of the show today. Yeah, <laughs> you had some excitement over in the United Kingdom. I don't know if 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 you heard well, about this royal wedding that happened. <laughs> I did, I did, and uh, it happened on Saturday uh, yeah. in Windsor, and everything went perfectly, um, and it was Britain at its best, really. And I haven't seen any of it yet. Um, okay, that's fair. Uh, I put a, a post out, and I I, I sort of laugh at. I, I don't I don't laugh in like an insulting way, but how many people here in Canada got yeah. up at five o'clock in the morning who would never normally get up at five o'clock in the morning? Yep. To watch the royal wedding, uh, yeah, was, Jennifer watched it um, the replay about eight o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. and she commented saying, "I guess I guess it was very sweet. There were some." little remarks and grins and she said oh look at that they're just real people oh yeah yeah they are they are so, I, it's, it's cool. a joining of the usa and the uk um and 600 invited guests in the church itself two two thousand six hundred in the grounds and it just went so smoothly I mean, it was perfectly planned and yeah. uh you know it's just pageantry it's something we do well yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But we, we appreciate that not everybody, not everybody watched. And I would say in the UK, it's over fifty percent would have watched. Sure. Um, yeah. Sure. And I, I guess it was, uh, it was nice to see some, uh, I guess, tribute and remembrance to uh, Lady Di. Yes. Yes, I think um, everything that we were expecting actually took place, which was good. There's some things we weren't expecting, uh, like, this, like the sermon, mm -hmm. uh, which was not quite fire and brimstone by an American preacher, but not far off and uh, uh, took everybody aback, but it was talking about love. Um, but it was just a fantastic day and every, everybody, it lifted everybody's spirits. It's a good news day. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. we can always use that positive stuff, right? Well, with everything else that's going on in the world, yes, uh, it's good to uh, to be able to sort of take a day and just enjoy the fact that uh, we can enjoy ourselves when yeah. we don't have to worry about what the newspapers are saying. Yeah, no kidding. Fonz yeah. is out there, Fonz Chamberlain from the Cambridge Historian. Uh, nice to see you, Fonz. Maybe he'll join us. Yeah. And for those of you who are joining us, uh, we're broadcasting in several locations. Thank you to Facebook for that cross-posting feature. And uh, people like uh, Stephen, who started Live Video Hub and the Video Show Networks, jumped on the wagon for that as too, to uh, to share lots of videos. I've, I've got about, uh, I don't know, 12, I guess, or whatever, yep. which compares yep. not even close to the live video hub what do you got you got over 100 now uh, it's, it's 105 now and Fantastic. Uh, last tuesday i had a, a chat with daniel uh ceo of belive.tv and yeah. be, be live of take it over now so mm -hmm. it is a belive.tv project um which i'm running um and nice. it's, it's going to be it's going to have uh their power behind it so right. it, it could take off and go go anywhere. And uh, I started working with the team there, and we'll see what happens. But live uh, cross posting is a thing. Uh, it helps. I mean, when you and I cross post, it helps most definitely. When we cross post with Fonz, it helps. When we cross post with Cheryl, it helps. 
and uh, you know it's all it works to everybody's benefit. It's a win-win situation. There are no um, problems. Yeah. I know that. I mean, where we lead, you and I lead, others follow. Um, in fact, uh, it has to be said that Maury Smith has started cross posting. Okay. And she's cross posting from BeLive.tv to her own personal page. Yeah. Oh, you can cross post to your personal page? Well, to, sorry, to a business page. Oh, a, okay. pers a personal business page. I was going to say, there's a new one on me. No, 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 no. no. If there's anything new, we'll, we'll find <laughs> out together. No, I mean, it is a, a time to experiment and find out what happens. But as, as you did on today's post, what you do have to do in the original video post is put a link back to where the live show is. Uh, yes. Otherwise, you, you get people locked into the hub or TVSN, and they don't know, they're commenting away, and nobody's responding. Whereas if, the, if you can go back to the original post just by clicking one button, it makes life yeah, easier. Yeah, and you know, I, I don't know that I did that for today's show. That's, oh, you did. That's, you did. I, I did? You did. I, 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 it says, uh, yeah, head to TVSN world. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, you mean here? Yeah. Just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean in the actual comments, I, I, I didn't put the link. All right. Okay. But, uh, yeah, wherever you're watching from. Thanks for watching. Come on over to the Video Show Network page, and that's where we will see your comments. And you can also type in the word guest. Be our guest. Be our guest. What was that hmm. commercial? You remember that? Da, 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 da. Disney. Okay. Be our guest. Anyway. What? <laughs> I'm going to sing. I, I'm, I'm singed out. I, had, I ran karaoke yesterday. All right. So come you. over, type guest in the comments. Join us here uh, on camera. It'll send you a link to, to chat with us. And Steve and I are always excited to see about who just might show up. I truly, I truly. You never know. Right. Okay. And uh, I was on the wrong page there. Because at the moment, David, what are you seeing the numbers are as within the BeLive.tv studio? For how many viewers there are? Yeah. Yeah. Six. All right. Okay. I'm seeing, I'm seeing zero. Oh, so I'll report I wish there was an option. If you're working with the B live team, you know, you're going to get people like me. They're going to try to tell you <laughs> what you should tell them. Yeah. Uh, okay. It would be nice to see an option to turn off the number of viewers. Yeah. Okay. Void. I, I, I don't need to see it. And the guest doesn't need to see it. Because sometimes I think we have a guest on and they're seeing a number that says zero viewers. Yeah. They might be thinking, why am I here? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, you know, not realizing that a lot of the views come afterwards, right? That's true. That's true. Uh, but to everybody who is watching, thank you. And if you have any questions for David or I, please ask them. And as David said, if you want to join us on camera, just type guest and David's yeah. messenger bot will send you an invite, a personal invitation. Um, yeah, so um, where were we? Yes, it is. I, I can take your point on that, that the show, the show should not be when we're actually broadcasting. Uh, it's good to know that people are watching, but we shouldn't be driven by the number of people watching because, as mm -hmm. you say. Have you noticed a, a, a drop in uh, reach since the cross-posting has come on? Uh, right, okay. I don't think – there's the reach is, is split. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're cross posting, people who would have normally watched on a shared po post are now watching on a cross posted post. Uh, and therefore, you've got to add up the, re the reach of each individual cross post, as it were. Yeah. I think the view, the views figure is a total. So that's not a problem. And you can, yeah. you can actually bring that up in the stats and you can see where the viewers have come from. Uh, so, Facebook have really thought that out when you are cross posting that you mm -hmm. can see who, which uh, television channels are serving you best. Yeah. Fonz um, makes the comment. He says, that's what we did in radio. People come and go and it can put you off. I think he's referring to the views or listeners, I guess we were talking about. Um, yeah. yeah. Just do your show and, and that's, you know, go with it. I, and speaking of it, so, you know, I think sometimes, 
you know, obviously people getting in front of the camera is what stops them from doing it in the first place. Mm -hmm. Um, the intimidation factor of technology, whatever. But then how do we come, what do we talk about? What do we talk about? All right. Okay. Now, when you've been going a while, you can wing it like we do and like Franz does. And, uh, <laughs> but in the early days, you, you do need a script, don't you? You need to have an agenda. You need yeah. to have a topic to talk about. Uh, because at a focal point, I mean, when when uh, you're actually putting the show notes, the, the notes that go with the show together, you should say who you are, what you're going to talk about, and why people should join you. And it's the what you're going to talk about that we're discussing now. Because if you if you're vague, if you're vague, I'm just going to talk about time management today. Well, there's a thousand different aspects to time management, which Please tell me which aspect of time management you're talking about. Yeah. Are you talking about making appointments? Are you talking about uh, <laughs> saving an hour a day? You, you've got to be as precise as you can about the topic of the show. Um, yeah. And, I mean, top, what do you think the topics? I'm going to be finding out what the best, most popular topics are, so that will help. But um, I think you, you've got to play to your strengths, haven't you? Because you can't you – can't, you can't blag it on here. Yeah. Well, I, and I guess, uh, you know, there's different ways to to run a talk show. I mean, you know, okay, we're going to talk politics. So, okay, well, there you go. There's a million subjects. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk uh, flags. Right? Yeah, okay. Big, yeah. Big, bang beer, big Bang Theory does it. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Sheldon, Sheldon does Sheldon, it. Yeah. yeah. Flags. You know, so, I mean – Okay, we're going to talk flags, but today we're going to talk uh, Italian flags, and we're going to talk Swedish. You know, so being specific sure. on your, um, and then there's there are those general ones. You know, we talk about live streaming, but that takes us anywhere. And I guess uh, we haven't really we've we've sort of fallen off. <laughs> so I don't know that we're the greatest example, <laughs> but. Um, you know, well, what are we going to talk about today? I didn't put yeah. in there that we're going to talk about topics for shows. It's just about live streaming. I, I just turn up and hope that I know something about what we're talking about. Because <laughs> yeah. that's the key. I mean, you can you can talk. Uh, once you've got the, the format of the show and the energy going, then you can talk about virtually anything. And you can yeah. swing from one topic to another. Yeah. Uh, and I've okay. always been a live guy. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, carry on. I've always been a live, I've always been a wing it guy um, because <clears throat> well, I was a DJ in a bar and then, you know, I was a karaoke host for 20 some years yep. uh, for like, that was a living five days a week. And I was live, you know, when the singer was done singing, I had to say things and that was, it's just live. There was no script. Yep. Yep. So I got used to just grabbing a mic and getting up in front of people and blah, blah, blah. And, and Right. And I mean, uh, you know, even the, the Sarnia sings uh, that you saw there a couple of weeks ago with the speech I gave, I mean, I, that was all off the cuff. Right. Mm -hmm. But I've been around for almost 30 years doing it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it does take some practice and, uh, you know, recognizing a room, so to speak, and, and what you're talking about when, even when I do my live shows, I have an agenda there for sure. But I don't have a script of what I'm going to say. I would just, right. I would just talk about it, right? So I, I guess it, it, you know, some people say, oh, well, I can't do that. I don't have that personality. Well, you don't have to have any, just be you. Just be you. I mean, when, in the early days, what I used to do was, was to write down sort of 10 points that I was going to talk about and we'd go through them from top to bottom chronologically. And I'm sure some of it was boring, but most of it was thoroughly entertaining um <laughs> the, the the 10 becomes eight becomes six becomes four until you got to the stage where you can say right this week i'm going to talk about fly fishing and you just go for it right yeah um and you you invite guests on i mean the, the other thing about the type of show that we do and enjoy is that the the show itself is driven by the guests yeah, yeah. And people hopping on just for, for just for a chat and to talk about their shows and what they're doing, um, and that's what that's what makes live so interesting because you can never predict who's going to come on camera. That's a subtle hint to everybody who's watching at the moment. 
<laughs> typing guest and join us. Of those people that are watching, I see like somebody join. Fonz yeah. is watching. He's not joining. What's up, Fonz? I don't know. Hey. He, about, about, about 20 minutes ago, he was contacted. <laughs> as he posted on Facebook because he was shocked by it. He's been contacted by a newspaper. Oh. Uh, who wants to talk about his television show, The Cambridge Historian. Uh, and wow. On B Live TV, of course, and um, they're not from Cambridge. Yeah. So the Cambridge Cambridge newspapers have not picked it up, but somebody from out of town has, and uh, more power to him. Absolutely. Go figure. Yeah. That is brilliant. Indeed. Congratulations, Fines. We'll have to. We'll have to. Uh, he he was on my 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 show last week. Yeah. Um, and and that's. Um, something that I'm going to start doing. So I have three guests every week on my, uh, the show live mm -hmm. and I'm going to take two guests typically that are local. It's not happening this week. I've got to get into a momentum of it, but I typically want to have two guests that are local. So I keep the local aspect. And then my third guest, I want to be from anywhere else in the world. Right. Okay. And that's how I want to connect communities together. Right. And that's, that's part of my, mission and vision is to to take small communities or large communities but communities and connect them together using live streaming i mean yeah it's one big city it is it is totally totally and friends there's a book uh, it's called a friend in every city oh yeah and back in the day before this all took up before facebook and the idea was that through networking you could make a friend in every city so that when you went on your world tour, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, you could actually stop off wherever you want and stay with a friend, which is a brilliant go. idea. Uh, it is. If you sort of away for 20 days, you stay with 20 different people. And then when you come back, you've got 20 people visiting you, but not all at the same time. Yeah. So it's, okay. a, it's a good idea. Um, and we gone one upon that because now we can have a friend in every city and uh but it's encouraging encouraging people to come on camera i suppose if we stop talking about coming on camera somebody will come on camera all right we're gonna stop talking <laughs> no stop talking about not stop oh no sorry no, no I, you need to let me finish the, the sentence otherwise it i know and our friends there um right okay and <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, and I don't know if you can see. I'm kind of messy here today. I got stuff. All right. Yes. I'm being but sloppy. The, the whole house is being renovated, refurbished, reworked. That's my story. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm down in the basement for the better part of the day, which I typically am on Mondays because I do two shows. But uh, yeah. There's Teresa Leduc Chalmers Cowley. There's a mouthful. That's my friend Teresa. She's a local photographer here in Serenia Lampton. And uh, Teresa, if you want to join us on camera and talk with us, you've Teresa's been on the show before, yeah, uh, my other show, and uh, uh -huh. she knows how to do it. Just type guest in the comments there, and we'll bring you on, Teresa. We'd love to uh, chat with you and tell us what you're up to with your photography. She's got a new location here, mm -hmm. downtown Sarnia, and she's a busy lady. And uh, we're, we we got to connect with her. We're going to get some uh, grad photos done with. Well, Jason's graduating high school this year, and they send you these packages on. You can buy this and this and this and this. Yep. And, holy moly! Mm -hmm. I'm like, I would just as soon take that same amount of money. <laughs> or less yeah. and Teresa's going to just do family pictures for us yeah and we're going to borrow a gown throw it on jason for one shot <laughs> <laughs> well i mean what else do i need well, it, right? it, it makes it uh, okay it makes it more um family orientated rather than being one amongst many you you're actually within the within your family when you're being photographed yeah. it gives it more meaning that's right um I just don't want Sorry, Stephen. I'm just trying to help Teresa here. It will work on your phone, Teresa. Um, what I will do is I will send you the link in Messenger. I 
think that's what I got to do. Right? Is that what I got to do, Stephen? Yep. But it's not clickable. It's not clickable. Well, it, so, no, it should be clickable on the phone. It should be clickable on the phone. An, an yeah. improvement that Facebook have made this week is if you're on desktop and in Messenger, uh, none of the links are clickable. So we've got to go back to the old technology of cut and copy and paste. So you need to copy the link from Messenger, paste into your browser, and you, you are there. She's on uh, a phone, though. Yeah, she's on the phone. She's just be able to click it. Because uh, BeLive.tv will already be installed, won't it? Because your friend has been on camera once. Right, right. Yeah, so. Well, I've sent her the link in Messenger, so we'll see what that does. Okay. We'll see if she joins us. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm multitasking. Trying to. <sighs> We do try. I mean, occasionally we succeed as well. Um, because... There we go. All right. Well, we we just bounced up to 14 people watching. That's awesome. Right. Okay. And say hello to Jason. Yes. Good day, Jason. I can't see the comments. So I'm, I've been bobbing over there. Um, and Tony yeah, D. I, see the thing. I, see the, I can't see the view account and I can't see the comments. So if everybody's watching, thank you. Uh, this, uh, the fact that you are, is made possible by Be Live TV and live video cross posting. It would be interesting if you could say where you found us. Uh, I know you're watching live, but if you came on the live video hub page, then say hub. If you came on TVSN, say TVSN. If you found us on the SU hub, which is run by funds, type SU. If you I mean US. It, is it SU or US? US. US. Us okay. Hub. Yeah. And Cheryl's Hub is called. Yeah. Okay. Video. Yes. Okay. But wherever you came from, if you just put it in the comments, it gives us a chance to. Uh, to track things back. If you've got any questions about live video, then please ask them if you've got any statements about live video. Hey, so look, we got Teresa. Uh-huh. All right. Give me thumbs up if you're ready, Teresa. She's got her coffee mug. Here we go. It's going to be – I see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. It's Hello. Monday. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Can this you is hear technology. Me now? Yeah, we can hear you wonderfully. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How's the photography world? Busy. Good. Busy. I just uh, actually, I, I just shot, um, did uh, unicorn sessions yesterday, or was what's yesterday? Saturday? Yeah. yeah. No, Sunday. So Sunday. no, Saturday I did it. Okay. I'm Where'd you find baby. the unicorns? <laughs> well, I have. Um, this wonderful person I met, I at the Lampton Mall, I did the unicorn thing over the March break. And uh, Lampton Mall had uh, hired me to take pictures of these 20 um, young kids with a unicorn. Oh, okay. Um, so from there, I met Miranda, and she runs, Miranda Dunn, and she runs Parties with Ponies. And um, I met Lovely Cupcake, who's a miniature horse. And she had uh, her tail and mane and all that stuff painted purple yesterday. Hooves are got the nail polish on them and everything, the glitter. And it was, oh, it was lots of fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Like creative, I guess, would be a word. Well, it's, I, I had, um, I only had three people because there's, there's a lot of these mini sessions. Uh, we're going to get into, you know, my dislikes and likes of photography. I, You know me, Dave. I'm not one of those money grab people. This I do this because I love it. Yep. So I had I had uh, three um, sessions, three hours. I gave them each 40 minutes. I figured if you're going to have a session with a unicorn, you might as well enjoy um, the experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? That's what... I think it's supposed to be about. So these young individuals that came out, they got to 
hang out and be with um, the unicorn. And I just did the pictures and did what I did. And actually, they turned out pretty awesome. And I had this location. I don't want to give it away. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I had people all from come all the way down from Burlington. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they had, because I guess their their one little girl, she loves unicorns, and she actually prays to them. So, <laughs> good for me. I, I had taken her um, picture at the Lampton Mall, and that's what started it all, was she said, well, if you ever do a photo shoots, and here we are a couple months later doing a photo shoot. So, and we turned it into a family uh, photography session, too, as well. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, they're all dressed up, right? How often yeah. do you get little children to do that? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, you got... Uh... Are... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> are we having a Canadian moment? I guess I think... we are. Yeah, Ke Kelly's out there, uh, one of my big followers there. Uh, and uh, I think he's joined the Be Livers as well. But happy Victoria Day. It is a holiday. I was going to get to that, but it is a holiday oh. here in Canada today, and it's Victoria Day, right? Uh, so uh, Queen Victoria, I guess, is what that is in reference to. Uh -huh. And uh, we're celebrating. So there's been uh, noises of fireworks and stuff last night and all weekend. So that's what I was referring to there. So uh, thanks for watching, Kelly. And, yes, it was Beauty and the Beast when I was singing – be our guest, be our guest. Da, 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 da. Oh, I, I knew that. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I just said, I said Walt Disney. I was close, right? But Kelly clarified that for me. So uh, thanks, Kelly. And thanks for, so he's, <clears throat> he's watching on TVSN and, uh, and the Live notification as well. So there you go. Kelly's joined us everywhere. Right on. Um, <clears throat> yeah, go ahead, Stephen. Can I ask a question, Teresa? Did you watch The Royal Wedding? No, that's oh, okay. Uh, there's no wrong answers. <laughs> there are any <laughs> any answers? I'm just I'm just curious. Uh, it's okay. No. I, I want to I want to find. Look, I'm on a mission. I want to find somebody in Canada who watched a royal wedding live. I don't think I'm gonna. Well, I'm. Oh yeah, you will. There were tons. There were. Crazy oh yeah. People, like getting fascinators for their hair and uh. and there's. I mean, I have. You know, if that's what they want to do, that's fantastic. All the more, if you're happy and you're having a great day with your family and you're watching the royal wedding, fill your boots. Um, I just, it wasn't for me. Yeah. Stephen, if you go over to my, I, I believe it's on my personal timeline. I I, I did a poll of yeah. people. Did you or did you not get up? I think you even answered it. So if you go there and click on the ones that say yes, okay, you'll, you'll find some Canadians there. <laughs> right, I, t I shall do that after after the show. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I I, I know uh, because I did the poll, and I also somebody said no, I didn't. And I said, wow, you didn't watch, and he said no, I wasn't never going to watch. And I thought, right, okay, back off, back off. So I that was Andy. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name, Andy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I when I put the poll out about. Um, uh, who got up early to watch what I should have said, how many men ah. got up to watch yeah. because their wives said they had to different question. You'd rather different reaction. I think it's like oh, going to a Kenny God. Rogers concert, right? He would always ask the question, how many, how many, how many guys are here because their wives made them come tonight. Right. So that's, <laughs> but uh, that's I, at least you're skating on there, Dave. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Even Kenny Rogers said that it is. Kenny Rogers came to Sarnia years ago, and that's uh -huh. what he said okay. at his concert. He said he was giving money away. I, I remember he was. He's like, "Okay, sir, you in the front row, I'm going to give you twenty dollars for every hit of mine you can name." And then his okay. wife leaned over, and he then he said, "And you're not allowed to tell him." <laughs> <laughs> And then he said, how many guys are here tonight because your wives told you you had to show up? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And there you go. Kelly said he watched the Royal Wedding live feed on YouTube. Brilliant. Excellent. All right, my mission is finished then. That's the end of that. <laughs> I just want to find one person in Canada. And we're yeah. talking about live streaming. Well, I guess 
you know, here's this is an example of live streaming at its best, really. When when uh, you never know who's going to show up. Thanks, I appreciate Teresa coming in, and anybody else who wants to join us, I've pinned the uh, the link to join actually on the video show network page. Uh, you can do that or type guest, and we'll send it right to your messenger. And love to have you join us live right here, Kelly's. Uh, James Corden was invited. Guy from Carpool. Oh, yeah, James Corden, talk show host, was invited. He was invited to the royal wedding, I'm guessing is what you're saying. Yes, he was, he was there. Hey, yeah. Hey, Dave, did you yeah. know that um, our Mr. Dan Edwards, if this is correct, met Megan? Is that her name, the, the lady who yep. married Harry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, he's got a picture of her. I guess they were at a Blue Jays game or something. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a picture on his um, profile on Facebook. And oh, I nice. Said, really? Get out of here. Good for him, lucky world. fella. Small world. Oh, it's definitely a, definitely a small world and getting smaller uh, because of this live video thing, you know. Well, you I know if I come to the UK someday, I've, I've probably got a place to stay. Are you definitely got a place to I'm stay? I'm hoping so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't come here on spec. You'd have to arrange something first. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I'm fortunate to live near to Stonehenge and Salisbury Cathedral and Avebury. So it's a beautiful part of the world. Where are you? Wiltshire, England. Oh, okay. 20 I'm miles... I missed, the first, I missed the first couple of minutes. I was ah. typing in, I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, hello. And clapping and waving. And nobody <laughs> heard me. So then I try to fit, uh, uh, change feeds. And then then you can see my stuff. So you couldn't see my stuff before. Well, you were watching on a different page. I yeah. guess so. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, well, well, there's but, there's an example of us uh, telling people that wherever you're watching from, if you want us to see your comments, you've got to come over and visit the Video Show Network page. That's where we'll see your comments. Wherever else you are, we won't see them. So, so people could be talking behind our back, and we don't even know it. <laughs> well, that's one of the things. I mean, if you if you are on the hub or on the, the TVS the other pages, you can actually have a chat with your friends whilst watching the show. And not interrupt the show, which is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Teresa uh, was the photographer for Sarnia Sings as well. Uh-huh. And she but, caught uh, wonderful, wonderful photos from that. I have to send you the, the link, Dave, for the whole, all the photos. Yeah, I think I got an email. <clears throat> oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, I've got them. And uh, they've been all over Facebook, which is fantastic. And they turned out uh, really, really well. Yeah. well uh -oh. anytime, anytime you want to use any of those photos for anything that you need, you're more than welcome. Well, I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. Peter Stewart is in the lobby. I know him. Uh huh. Things, things are about to get shaken up. <laughs> <laughs> I think Peter used to be my roommate, if it's the same Peter. Here I am. There's only one Peter Stewart, and that's me. No, the, the, oh, the, the, no, not the same Peter Stewart. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello, Peter. Where are you? I, I'm lying in my bed, absolutely shattered after cycling 31 miles. Wow. <laughs> Good <laughs> for you. I'm not, I'm not jogging tonight. I've decided I'm not jogging tonight. <laughs> well, I, I don't blame you. Doing 31 miles and then jogging might just be doing a bit too much. I know, I know. Oh, it was a terrific day. Brilliant. Right. Yeah. Teresa, Teresa please meet the other Peter Stewart, who is Hello, in Peter. Aberdeen in Scotland. Yeah. I'm live, not Scottish. Live from his bedroom, uh, usually from his bath. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is this is where the show starts to go. And we hold our yep. breath, wondering what he's going to say next, David. It's all going downhill for the next hey, twenty five minutes. You, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something, though. My my partner's addicted to watching the world championships of the dog agility, and I'll tell you they do it live streaming, and they're just wondering what cameras and things they use because it is really good. Uh, I just, um, what's the name of it? 
Anyway, it's the, the world dog agility just now, and it was really good the way the live broadcast it. Yeah? I'll have well, to look okay. up on it for you and find out what to do. And uh, then they sell, the, they make DVDs and sell them for £35 uh, pounds or £35. Yeah, £35 yeah. Pounds or euros or something like that. So they're making money from it. Your signal and your sound are going a bit, Peter. All right. Can you still hear me? Oh, yeah, we can still hear you. Just a blip, a blip. There you go. I don't know if maybe your microphone is, is rubbing on your jacket or something. No, I haven't got a microphone. It's the iPad. Okay. All right, okay. It's the iPad I'm on. Yeah, and I'm a bit tired, so I'll be shaking about. <laughs> Uh, Peter's going to pass out on the show here today, folks, and uh, we're, we're, we're just hoping he's going to just be sleeping. <laughs> the thing is, we're live streaming. You can, you can do it from anywhere, can you? It's great. Oh, yeah. Well, he's, he he's not in the bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> he's not in the bathtub. <laughs> I'm glad I have control to remove him from the broadcast if necessary. So Yeah. I, it's but, good to produce the show. I have that power. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kelly's asking, uh, Blab for Britain, Peter, how was the trip last week? Well, I was away in Tenerife in, uh, in Spain. It was absolutely brilliant. Loved the time off and got on my bicycle there as well and enjoyed myself. Came back lighter. Aye, in the pocket. A lot lighter in the uh, pocket. It's a Scotsman talking. I, I can th listen to this forever. I love it. It's uh, it's quite expensive. Uh, I'll I'll let you see what I really look like standing up. Look, yeah, I'll show you Aberdeen. No. Look, there's Aber. It's probably okay. too bright for you. It's Aberdeen. Look, lovely. It's a great cycle today. Anyway, so what's the conversation today? Well, we were. We didn't, haven't really got there. We, <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking, we're I'm talking still about, trying to figure it out. Yeah, we, we were talking about Brexit, Peter. All oh, right, my favorite <laughs> subject. Yeah, was you really? No, no, no. We were going to be talking about how to come up with topics for a, a show, and we talked about that for about a millisecond. Mm. Um, and then, uh, Teresa came along and we just, but you know, and, and I'm not blaming it on you, Teresa. I'm just saying, um, this is one of those shows it's broadcasting to your community. I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be about live streaming because we have two communities here really that have connected. Mm -hmm. so Teresa and I are from the same location and you and Steven are around, right? Uh, yeah. and, and, and then we've got, honestly, we've got Kelly who's been watching, and Kelly has been connected to you guys, I'm guessing, through me. And he's also a fan of your Blab for Britain. Yep. So it's all just kind of broadcasting sure. to your community, sure. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and I guess uh, we were trying to give the example of planning a show and having an agenda, but <laughs> I'm not sure that Stephen and I are the best examples no. for that because it just never happens. No. <laughs> Uh, it's very it's very difficult to to run a show and uh, getting enough topics there because there's nothing worse when you're going. I've been on with my guests and they turn up and you say, "What am I going to do now?" And you end up speaking a lot of rubbish, and uh, that that can be a problem. So what what I hope to do is just mix it in the future, have a guest talk about their business, and then get someone with uh, of some interest who will pass on some knowledge. You know, rather yeah, than telling right. about their business and try and mix it up a bit, you know? Yeah. Well, this is sort of an open forum kind of show, right? So mm -hmm. it's bound to happen this way. Uh, my other show later today at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll have, when you have a guest on, you know, like today, you know, I'm going to have Mark Perrin on there and he's going to be talking about Blue Water Border Fest, a concert series here in Sarnia. So oh, that's what we'll, we're automatically talking about that, right? Mm -hmm. So when you have a guest on and you're talking about them, it's easier to stay on track than, you know, when we're open forum here. It's just, but this is just a conversation. We're just mm -hmm. hanging out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a great use of, of live video just to have a conversation. And I, I but occasionally I'd, I'm starting to do more interviews. I did an interview yesterday and 
when I'm doing the interview, I ask my guest for three questions. So that when the show starts, I ask the three questions and they should know the answers because they've mm -hmm. actually given the questions. So that gets the show off to a start. But yesterday's show, I was uh, chatting with Joshua T. Berglund and uh, he runs uh, a show every morning, 10 a.m. Pacific, I think, uh, which is a gratitude show. Right. And I got the first two questions answered. OK, and then the audience knew him. Mm -hmm. So the audience took over the show and all I had to do was sit there and the questions came in from the audience and yeah, I just went along. Yeah. There you go. You never know who's going to show up. RJ Redden is in the house, sort of. She hasn't come on camera yet, but maybe she will. Hello, RJ. She's a master of bots. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I've got to put more. Uh, have you been using them much still, Stephen? I've just started a, a new one for the live video hub. Okay. Uh, and that is going to, that's basically to get all the broadcasters to actually message that, be connected to it. Okay. So you can send out information. That's the one side of it. And the other side of it is, is to have subscribe the audience anybody who comments on the show is brought into the messenger conversation starts and then we can actually broadcast out to the audience as well so that's mm -hmm. what i'm working on at the moment so but that's not active having said that, well it's sort of it's not totally active no I'm, i've got 20 conversations going at the moment but uh with rj um we're going to do a bot for uh the the hub uh, which has been designed by RJ, and then we'll program it together, and we're going to try and do a whole lot of things. In fact, in last week, in the show two weeks ago, we did a spec, an outline spec for it, uh, and we're going to carry that through in the next five or six shows on Wednesdays, 12 p.m. Eastern. Nice. Yeah. Is that uh, sort of like what, um, D, like what Adam uh, Dumont D Dumont does with that are you talking about the the uh kind of robotic uh messages that come through your messenger or am i totally like not even talking no. about the same thing <laughs> no that's right oh does adam use those oh yeah he's got he calls his adam bot and he talks to you on the on the thing and then he says if you don't want to hear from me anymore you know like you can shut this off but once in a while i get i met through messenger i'll get the uh adam bot so Oh, okay. So he's probably using a bot then. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about one that's called Many uh, Many Chat that we use. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and I have it set up on my pages. So if you send me a message uh, on my page, then you're subscribed to that, and you'll occasionally get a broadcast from me. I was I seen buttons trying to get on live here, and I actually you, I went through the whole thing with the messenger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <So> yeah. <laughs> I've seen something with many chat paying through many chat. People can pay. Yep, uh, you can you can accept payment through many chat. Uh, so you can market and sell, and mm -hmm. take payment. Would that be kind of good for if you were doing um like for me that if I was doing a workshop for yep. beginner uh, photographers or something like that, and um, people couldn't actually come into the studio but still wanted to partake mm -hmm. hmm. be a, be worth checking that out yeah. I'm well, challenged <laughs> well it's, it's all these new things we can try um did a show three weeks ago with a chocolate factory and my friend down owns a chocolate factory just like willy wonka does and we did a show together just 30 minutes and he did a demonstration of making raw chocolate so within 10 minutes, you've got perfect vegan chocolate to eat. And uh, at the end of the show, he started selling and he did make sales. And that was on BeLive.tv. And he was able to make the sales and take the order through Shopify and get paid as well. So good. that's a great way to do it. I love chocolate. I love chocolate too. I love getting paid. I love getting paid. Me too. In chocolate. I love getting paid and chocolate. 
chocolate money. <laughs> boy, if you get paid in chocolate, boy, that could be dangerous. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I'd always no, be it, happy, it though. You'd be really happy? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name's Teresa. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> like that one didn't come naturally already. Oh. Well, this is true. You're already happy. <laughs> okay. Out, out, out of the out of the the networks that you've all seen, who have you seen really exploiting uh, Facebook Live through the sort of stuff that we do? Who's really cracked it? Is there anyone you know of? Uh, I go. I go. We take it in turns. Mari Smith. Who? Mari Smith. She's Scottish, oh, Mari. Peter. Yes. Mari, yeah. Sorry, I didn't get the pronunciation right there. <laughs> yeah. Mari. She's very good. Yeah, she's very yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Who else? Uh, Joel Tom. <laughs> Don't watch him. Right. Yeah, I, well, I, well, I guess when you say cracked it, like, what do you mean? Like, uh, how, on, on viewership, reach, or monetization? Uh, I, I don't – just – Getting the purpose that they're on for, and, and can do the, you know, are they making money from it, or the, are they getting people to their website or whatever? You know, what their target? What's their purpose of doing it and, and succeeding? Right. Uh, I don't really have any one in particular that sticks out for me. I mean, I see lots that are doing it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I don't make money from doing my talk show. Okay. Directly. Right. But indirectly, I do. I, I call my talk show, it's a chicken wing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sell the chicken wing at cost so that they buy the beer, yeah. right? And that's, uh, I mean, I, I have some sponsors of my show, but it's very subtle on the show. Um, mm -hmm. But then for me, it spins off into, you know, David, would you MC something in Sarnia? Would you... Um, uh, you know, I do live remotes, you know, for different, uh, events in the city, you know, and then I yeah. broadcast parades and stuff. So that's how, uh, but I, I'm full time at what I do. Right. So, mm -hmm. uh, I don't have a bazillion page likes or a bazillion viewers, no. but at the moment I'm just focusing on locally making money. I'm yeah. in the process of building that into, um, beyond Sarnia Lambton, uh, but that's going to take a bit of time, but so pardon me, but I mean, you know, I mean, my video show network page has about 1500 likes or close to it and mm -hmm. show has a couple thousand. So I think that's pretty good for just local, mostly local, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, You're growing all the time though, Dave. I see. Yeah. It's yeah. 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 And well, I get, I, I hear that. I've seen people say, Oh, I, I, uh, I, I see you're, you're everywhere, you know, and it's like, mm -hmm. well, I'm tr almost everywhere. Um, but what I find interesting is when I'm out and about somewhere, um, there was a new, uh, uh, the new summer patrol at the radio station here and I was working there on Saturday and the young fella come up to me and he goes, hi, he goes, oh, you're David Burroughs. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know who he was. He goes, Oh yeah, I watch your show all the time. It's fantastic. I'm like, Oh, thanks. You, you, just, know, like, you just never know who's watching it. I did tell you about the story when I was getting my operation, did I? Were you on uh, time? No, what what it was when I had a I was I had a triple heart bypass and I'm lying there and I had to get an extra operation because of a collapsed lung. And they were all around me and they were putting the thing into my side, and just before they'd done it, a young dude at the end, you know, a trainee doctor, surgeon type thing, he says, he says, did you have a guy that works with you called Willie? Because this is videos that we've done. I goes, yeah. And he says to them all, it's him. It's the guy from the video. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. I do kind of recall you talking about uh, that. Right? I never, it was, so you just never know. Uh, it, it, you you might think it's not working, but it's working, and you don't sometimes know it's working. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and and I've had different people come up to me that people I've known, but I haven't seen in twenty years or something. I had an old high school teacher come up to me and say, "I love that you're still doing your show." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I never, yeah, 
I never, I never really liked you as a teacher. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> you're the one that told me I'd never amount to anything. <laughs> yeah. I always say I love the fact you're still breathing. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the things people watch. I don't know, Stephen, if you've seen the one. I mean, Tenerife going up the bobsleigh. I'm going, getting pulled up, and it's just my feet, my feet, and I'm going yeah. up the bobsleigh, and I'm speaking, and people have watched that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just it's amazing. And then the ones you want them to watch, they don't watch. <laughs> uh, there's well, no rhyme or reason to it. I'll tell you, if I was a kitty cat, I'd be making a lot of money. True. <laughs> Cat videos. Like, I just... Yeah. Blow, I, I, I honestly do. I, I laugh at my wife sometimes because she gets... She'll be scrolling through something and all of a sudden she just bursts out laughing. And she'll say, oh my goodness, that's funny. And I'm sitting there waiting for her to tell me about it. <laughs> like, I'm in the room here. And then she just, oh, well, you had to... Yeah, I had to watch it, I guess. So <laughs> yep. you have to be there. I always know when she's watching Jimmy Fallon clips. Because she laughs hysterically when, when she watches Jimmy Fallon, the Tonight Show. <laughs> it's yeah. Do we make money? I don't know. I and and you know, I guess it depends too. Um I think a lot of people just do live stream talk show like this. Oh, we lost Peter. Um yeah just because they just want to do it and they, they're not interested in making money. They just want to share their stories. That's right. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be done. It doesn't have to be done for commercial reasons. It could be just because you enjoy doing it. Yeah. And if something comes of it, then that's, that's all the better. Like Teresa, you, you, you would do well, I think to have a, a talk show about photography. Okay, sure. Maybe right, not this. I, I'm. I, I'd like to, but I'm gonna yeah. have to work on that. It's gonna come. Oh yeah, yeah. No, but I, I'm just saying. I, I'm using you as an example of saying that you know, if you did something like that, you wouldn't necessarily make money directly from the talk show, but you no. build an audience and a reputation. Yeah. And then when I want to know about photography, <clears throat> who do I think of first? Oh, that Teresa. I'm gonna reach out to her and see if she can help me. Right. There's yeah, and, and you're right. And the, the I think about all the other photographers out there who've been at it way longer than I have, who actually do have YouTube channels and and all that stuff. And it's it it's how you talk to people. Do you keep it simple, um, or are you just for beginners, or, or are you for like the expert who wants to kind of go up? It you know it depends on your subject matter and there's somebody for something out there like you know everybody's got something they're looking for. There's so many people in this world, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. it doesn't matter who. You, but like you said, somebody's always watching. You just don't know who is. You might get a phone call from day, someday from from somebody like, hey, with oh I saw you on TV and or on your your live stream and you know thank you for I, I had that burning question in my head like you know about my aperture my camera and i just happened to stumble upon you you told me about it it's wonderful thank you so much and it's like oh okay you, you just don't know mm -hmm. yeah that's right our friend carlos is out there says good morning hello carlos um well actually fonz chamberlain would be a good example of that right steven Oh, of, yeah. of not knowing who's watching. I mean, uh, so uh, Fonz Chamberlain is on the Video Show Network now, Teresa, and uh, he does a show called The Cambridge Historian. And he lives in Cambridge uh, in the UK, and he just got a phone call from a newspaper, not from Cambridge, saying, we want to talk to you about your show. So yeah. obviously somebody saw something, and it wandered off onto – spondered, is that a word? Uh to somebody and the next thing you know, now he's, you know, he's going to be having an interview or whatever's happening there. So um, I've always said, it's not who you know, that will help you get to the next point. It's who you don't know. Yeah. That will get you there or who, you know, that I didn't know when you introduced me to them and this whole friends you know, of friends. Yeah. Net live yeah. net live. We got to come up with a word for that net stream working stream yes, working. Stream. It needs to be shorter, shorter. Stream work, yeah. 
Yeah. Need a hashtag. This is called right. brainstorming. It yeah. is. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're good yeah. at that. We're good at that. And it's, it's, it's good to have you with us to sort of help us and push us in the right direction too. Um, yeah, I did come across just a tech note of the week. Uh, I found a new product this week. It's called Streamlabs. Streamlabs? Streamlabs. Stream uh, it's OB, you know the OBS, yeah? Yeah, I'm already using you, Streamlabs. You're using it? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay. In that it's, case, I don't need... it's originally designed for gaming, right? Is, is, yeah. um, so I use it on my Twitch channel. Okay. Yeah. Enough said. Right. Okay. So Twitch. Are you, uh, Twitch is, uh, uh, it's like a YouTube for gamers. Oh, um, is that what I said? You guys were, you and your son were playing games. Um, and I saw you. Did you not see? A, I go, remember I text you and I said, I can see you guys what you're doing. And you're, yeah. you were live. Was that yeah. on purpose? Was that on purpose? Yeah, we were live at the college. Yeah. Playing games. Yeah. And I thought you guys just by accident had it live. And I was like, oh, please don't swear. I got to get him. Uh, He's got to, I was freaking out because I. <laughs> oh, no, no, I no. It was an accident. I we do like, a live broadcast every Thursday and uh, from the college at the eSports Arena. And we go live on Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, and Twitch all at the same time. So, yeah. The, there are billions, well, millions of people who watch people playing games. Yep. Live. And there's big. Big money in it. Well, and here I thought it was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> no, although I have gone live by accident, and yeah, no. I was like, "Oh, father son time," and I, I should see, I should be seeing this. <laughs> I got to. Oh you. no, no, we call it father versus son. <laughs> so it's it's the uh, the idea that. Uh, the young generation is actually teaching the old generation how to play video games. And of course he's better than me. And then once in a while, I, I remind him that I'm still his father and uh, yeah, we have fun. Uh, the last few weeks, actually, I haven't been on, he's uh, been doing it by himself, which, and I can say this out loud now, cause I already let him in on it, uh, was kind of part of my plan to get him to the college oh, yeah. and get him, making some friends in the arena and stuff. And then I sort of one day, all of a sudden, uh, I have a meeting. You're going to have to do this by yourself. And then for about three, four weeks, I wasn't there. And he had other guys that were there joining him. And he, so he's made new friends and socializing. So my, my, my plan worked. It did. Um, I met him at um, the, uh, you're talking to Mark, you said this afternoon. And when he, I went to the media announcement. Oh, you're right. Like, well, I'm going to do the photography for Blue Water Border Fest again right. this year. Nice. So yeah, you met my boy there. Yes, and I made sure he ate. And I took, <laughs> I, I took, because they brought sandwiches out and whatnot, and I can't eat them, but, I, you know, I'm looking over at the growing boy, and I thought, hey, <laughs> I know you're hungry, so you should go over there and grab some of those sandwiches. Oh, he, he like, dropped everything right over. <laughs> And if there would have been anybody... pizza there, he would have sniffed it out. Yeah, no, they brought in sandwiches, but he ate his he he ate the lot and he was good. And then he did his thing and he packed up and left. I yeah. said, "Tell your dad." I said, "Hi." Obviously, he did it. No, he probably <laughs> forgot. Of yeah, well, course. he's got those long legs, right? And they're hollow. <laughs> and so when he eats, he fills up a leg, and then the, then he fills the other one. It's unbelievable. But yeah, he's done really well. You know, he, he, uh, like he went and I actually, so he's my co-op student in the afternoon and I took him out of school in the morning. So he got to miss math and English cause I had to be at the radio station. So he took everything there, set it all up, did the broadcast and everything, and then tore it all down. And then his sister picked him up and brought him to the college I was done at the radio and the college is right behind the radio station. So I walked over to the college and we had another media announcement there. And then he was there to do the live stream for the gaming. And then he started work at two o'clock in the app. So it was just, it was all perfectly planned and well executed. Of course. <laughs> so fantastic. Which brings us nicely to the hour. 
Unbelievable how that happens. Glad you need service. <laughs> Pleasure to gonna, meet you, Teresa. We're going to have to start doing a two-hour show, Stephen. Why, why not? Why not? But not tonight. I've got a town yeah. hall meeting. There you go. We should look at doing a marathon again. Okay. We'll do a 24-hour marathon. Oh, then I wear hmm. my pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As we should expect, David. I'm not sure what RJ is referring to. But. Well, I'm going to sign off. And it was lovely meeting you. And um, lovely seeing you again. And I'm so I don't even know how to get off this. Just I'll kick again. you out of here. But we'll remind you, we're here every Monday, noon till one. If you're around, love to have you Indeed. back. Indeed. You're welcome back. Take Anytime. care. Thanks, Bye. Teresa. Lovely Teresa. She's got a lot of energy and positiveness about her and uh right. she she likes hugs too when i see her so that's that's great and yeah she'll be uh the photographer at blue water border fest concert series again this year she was last year right. so yeah. uh yeah oh rj like the oh you know, she's referring to the show setup yes <laughs> thanks rj i trained my son well and he's taught me well too i i have to give fair credit back to him <laughs> final thoughts steven uh, final thoughts, uh, just enjoy the week, make the most of it, and uh, we'll see you again next Monday. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, uh, Stephen. For put, yeah, okay. Thanks for putting up with me again, my friend. And vice versa. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for watching. My friend Stephen Healy joining me, as always, every Monday, 12 o'clock noon eastern noon eastern uh, i'll be live again later today at 3 30 eastern on the show live on the show sarnia page if you join me there please at 3 30 three guests today um all local but we'll be talking actually from the gentleman from uh, blue water border fest the organizer for that so looking forward to that thanks everybody and again Stephen. bye for now